Number five, Hope Rambles on. Currently the co-choice at five to two, along with number six, Shakes Some Sugar. Number two, Perfect Storm is in. One of two in this field for trainer Rick Kennedy. The other is also in now is number three, Sammy's Rocket. Six, Shake Some Sugar is in. Seven, Fast Pri Prize Gal. And the last one in will be number four, Charted by DM. They're at the post. And they're off. Georgie's May Kitty towards the inside. Away second from the outside as Hope rambles on. Asking for run is charted by DM and Perfect Storm. Fading now along the rail is Georgie's May Kitty. It's Hope rambles on and charted by DM. Those two. Hope rambles on wins it. Charted by DM second. And Fast Prize Gal completes the triactor. Race one on official numbers. Five, four, seven. The unofficial winner of the first race was number five, Hope Rambles On. Second was number four, charted by DM. Third, number seven, Fast Prize Gal. And the fourth place photo, it was number six, Shake Some Sugar, finishing fourth. So the first race are now official. The winner is number five, Hope Rambles On. Five-year-old chestnut mare by Ramblin' On Down out of Bottoms Up Corona by Corona Cartel. Fold in Ontario by DK Training Center. Hope Rambles On is owned by the partnership of DK Training Center and Richard Winsicabi, trained by Don Reed, and ridden to victory by jockey Brian Bell. Hope Rambles On winning the distance with a time of 17.18 seconds, carrying a speed index of 86. Second number four, charted by DM, Third, number seven, Fast Prize Gal. And fourth, number six, Shake Some Sugar. 
Here now are your total results of the first race from top to bottom in your programs. Number one, Georgie's May Kitty finished sixth with a time of 17.62 seconds. Number two, Perfect Storm was seventh with a time of 17.69 seconds. Number three, Sammy's Rocket was fifth with a time of 17.61 seconds. Number four, Charted by DM finished second with a time of 17.33 seconds. Number five, Hope Rambles on the race winner with a time of 17.18 seconds. Number six, Shake Some Sugar finished fourth with a time of 17.59 seconds. And number seven, Fast Prize Gal was third with a time of 17.40 seconds. Rechecking from top to bottom, order of finish in your program should read 6752143. Those are your total results of the first race. In this upcoming second race, we have a vet scratch. Scratch the number two horse, Cool Country Star. And the following overweights, number four, by royal appointment, two pounds over. Number six, Moons on My PJs, one pound over. And number eight, It Goodbye Time, two pounds over. Also note that both number one, She's a Lethal Dash, and number four, by royal appointment, will be wearing track colors. Reminder, race two is the second half of the Daily Double, and both race A in your pick three and pick five. Brian Bell rode the winner of the first race today. Hope rambles on. Everybody loves the favorite that wins, Brian. And we weren't totally sure about her, but she was so classy last couple of years. Didn't have a great race to start this season, but boy, she was taking a class drop. Uh, tell us about her coming into this race from the last race. Well, coming into this race, I was uh, really high on her. You know, she's been running really tough in the tough fields, and, we, and finally we got her into a, a nice, easier one. I shouldn't say it was an easy field, but it was, it was, it, she was pretty salty, right? And, and uh, she, she did really well. Is it important to get a horse uh, in a spot sometimes to get that winning feeling back? Like, do horses have confidence? Yeah, they sure do. And, you know, and, and they, went, they lose too many, then they start losing their confidence. And then they sort of don't want, just like you and me, they just don't want to do it, right? And all of a sudden you get <laughs> boost their confidence. And who knows, hopefully she can go up from here. That's right. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you very much.